Hello and welcome to Last Level Press. I am Mr. Black and I would like to have a little discussion with you all. Now obviously this will be a somewhat one-sided discussion at first as this is a vlog and not a real-time stream, but after you've watched this video I would like to hear your feedback regarding the issue that I'm about to discuss because it's something that even I haven't completely made my mind up about yet. I'm referring, of course, to the XB1 M13 scandal, which a lot of you may have already heard about from Kotaku, TechIt, and other gaming news sources by now. If you haven't, that's okay. I'm going to explain it in as great detail as I can without rambling on about it momentarily. Now, a lot of other more prominent YouTubers than myself have already covered and addressed this issue, and as much as I would love to just hoard traffic regarding this, I have to be humble about this and I have to put my ego away for a minute and I encourage you all right now or later on to go and seek out those other YouTubers videos on the subject. John Bain aka Total Biscuit in particular has put together a remarkably insightful well thought out and of course well articulated in his usual style editorial on the subject. And he's provided a candid look at exactly what this issue means, what it represents and what it entails that I simply lack the requisite experience myself to replicate. It's more important to me that you all walk away from this incident with a deeper working knowledge of exactly what's going on than to just leak tra leech traffic off of it. I'm confident in my ability to comment upon this, but I can't claim to provide the kind of insight that Total Biscuit has. He's been in this business longer. It's that simple. He's got more experience and he's dealt with issues like this firsthand for years now. I simply haven't done that. I don't have his insight. I aim to be his equal one day, but unfortunately today is not yet that day. So if you want to hear my take on the issue, I thank you for sticking around, but consider this fair warning that I am going to overlap some of what he and others like Boogie and the guys at Far From Subtle have already said. Truth be told, I wanted to record this vlog and get it out yesterday, but life is what it is and I simply haven't had the time or opportunity to address this until now, so apologize for being a little late to the party. So. What is XB1 M13? Quite simply, it's a marketing deal struck between Microsoft and Machinima, and at first glance, it seems innocuous enough. Marketing and paid promotions happen every day, even on YouTube, especially on YouTube, in fact, despite everyone's apparent knee-jerk reaction of negativity to all things marketing these days. It's when one takes a closer look and breaks down the details of this particular campaign, though, that it really becomes more apparent why this one actually warrants the blood-boiling fury that it's inspired in half of the freaking internet overnight. Now before I go any further, I want to be clear with you all, like Boogie, that I most certainly agree you should be angry about what you're about to hear. But I want to make sure that you're angry about the right things and for the right reasons. Foremost amongst these reasons is that we, as the general public, might never have known about this promotion if someone within the Machinima network hadn't breached the promotion's inherent non-disclosure agreement to leak it. But I'll get into that a bit more in a moment. First, let's break down exactly what this promotion really entails. Briefly, it's a $3 CPM incentive program, that is to say a bonus $3 reward per thousand views on participant videos that Machinima Network members may participate in by including at least 30 seconds worth of game footage from any Xbox One game in any video that they upload during the promotional period. And that period runs from January 14th until February 9th, or until a collective 1.25 million views have been reached according to the leaked email. Now, participating videos may not contain any negative or disparaging commentary regarding the Xbox One, any of its games, or Microsoft or Machinima in general, and must contain the now eponymous tag XB1M13. Now, that part has some people inflamed. The fact that this is more or less paying content creators for positive, or at least neutral, if such a thing exists, coverage. But I'm not really one of them. That's just how marketing works, everyone. Don't be naive enough to think otherwise. If you're a PR company and you're fielding a promotion, why on earth would you pay someone who bashes on your product just because they showcased some footage from it? Like I said before, paid promotions and endorsements happen every day on YouTube, as much as everyone likes to pretend that it's some playground of free thinkers with no strings attached. I'm sorry to say that's not really the case with everyone. Now, I'll get into the ethics and professionalism of all this in a minute, but let's get back to that NDA, because that is what darkens this entire discussion. The non-disclosure clause, as it appears in the leaked emails received by Machinima Network members, reads as thus. 
You agree to keep confidential at all times all matters relating to this agreement, including, without limitation, the promotional requirements and the CPM compensa compensation listed above. You understand that you may not post a copy of this agreement or any terms thereof online or share them with any third party. Now, if you don't understand legalese, quite simply, that translates into something like this. You may never tell anyone at any time that you ever participated in this promotional campaign. Not in other videos, even if they're not part of this promotion. Not in person, not online, not on the phone. Never. Does that sound... sketchy to anyone else? Now, I admit, it's not really fair of me to ask, especially in a broad rhetorical fashion, but I'm gonna do it anyway. If your business deals are so shady, if your contract is so clandestine that you have to hide it from absolutely everyone else, odds are it was a pretty dubiously legal deal in the first place. And you know what? That's what makes this an easy issue to condemn. I don't even have to delve into the ethical implications of it, even though I'm going to anyway. Because here's the kicker. This agreement, this campaign, is illegal. By including an NDA in a promotional program, Machinima has broken Federal Trade Commission law, which was revised last year, requiring one to declare one's participation in paid promotional campaigns. Hook, line, sinker, my work's done! This contract is criminal, and as such, it is null and void, which is why I assume whomever leaked it did so knowing that there can't really legally be any repercussions for voiding an NDA that shouldn't have even been there in the first place. Now, I really pity them because I'm sure both Machinima and Microsoft are probably going to come down on them but they can't legally do so but that's another subject entirely now Microsoft has already responded to this as the story came to light and as such validated it as not just being rumor and conjecture and they claimed that they had nothing to do with the NDA or any of the promos details Microsoft claims that all of that was Machinima's doing and that that was actually standard practice for Machinima at that that they had just requested that a promo deal be cooked up. Predictably, some are of course countering that that's exactly what Microsoft should be saying to cover their own asses in this kind of situation, essentially leaving Machinima out to dry. And they're saying that it's naive to think that they might that Microsoft wouldn't have had a more direct hand in their own marketing campaigns, even if a PR firm was indeed acting as a go-between for the two companies, which there was. I can't say either way. As cynical as I am, as suspicious as I am, I have no proof either way, and so far, to my knowledge, neither does anyone else. So for now, I will leave their honesty up to you and time to decide. Now, some may claim that the XB1 M13 tag, or not really claim, but they can argue that that tag itself is indication enough to slip through the loophole of having, quote unquote, announced Machinimite's participation in the promotion. That is utter nonsense and there are two reasons why one tags are now invisible on youtube by default and no stock option allows one to re-enable them unless they're included in the title of a video itself you simply can't see them without a third-party app extension i can see tags because i went out of my way to get a firefox browser extension that re-enables tags for youtube as i wanted to look at how uh, more successful youtubers were tagging their work to drive traffic just comparing success but not everyone is willing or able to do that now reason number two and this is more poignant and important if it weren't for this promotion getting leaked no one would have known what the xb1 m13 tag actually signified we wouldn't have understood the context of its use it would have just been some gibberish in the video title and that doesn't tell anyone hey hey guys heads up this is a promotion like the law requires them to do, effectively negating the entire argument that it's a declaration of participation. I honestly don't think that Microsoft or Machinima realize yet just how badly this is going to backfire for the both of them. Really, if Microsoft's innocence in all of this is actually true, I would be pissed at Machinima right now. I would be absolutely livid. Because from here on out, no one will be able to 100% trust any video giving positive coverage to the Xbox One. They've called all of that into question from here on out. This has called the veracity and integrity of every single one of their promoters, bought off and genuine alike, into question. Even legitimate positive coverage will now inevitably get blasted by Sony fanboys and Microsoft haters alike for being bought off. 
Well, but that's not fair, you may be thinking. Well, you know what? You're right. It's not fair. But that's how people react, especially on the internet, to incidents like this, and you know that as well as I do. And you know what? As critical as I have been of Microsoft and the Xbox One in the last year, even I don't like to see this. I want to see Microsoft sink or swim on their own merit, not because of half-warranted suspicions kicked up in the dust by a partner that they couldn't control. I especially feel for some other YouTubers right now, and that's what I want to close this video with. Guys, ladies, everyone, stop for a moment. Breathe, pause, listen to me. Not everyone who participated, even in this campaign, is a bad person or a sellout. Let me explain, because there is an important distinction that needs to be addressed here before we can wrap this discussion in good conscience. Should journalists accept money to promote a game? No, absolutely not. There should always be a wall between journalism and advertising, and any violation thereof is a clear-cut conflict of interests. It is the very definition of corruption and the abuse of journalistic license. But, should YouTubers accept that money? Are YouTubers journalists? Do YouTubers have any obligation to preserve any amount of journalistic integrity? Well, that depends. You can't paint with broad strokes with this issue. It's a case-by-case -case decision basis, really. A lot of YouTubers straddle the line somewhere between amateur journalist and independent entertainer. And as such, they float in a weird sort of gray area that's hard to pin down and define. There are no unified standards of conduct to being a YouTuber. Some are just funny or charismatic personalities that love to entertain their audiences, and nothing more. While others, like Angry Joe and us here at Last Level Press, we strive for something a bit closer to traditional unbiased journalism. And both of those approaches are equally valid. Even if we're all a bit more animated about it. Really, it falls to each and every one of you to make your own honest judgment calls about which camp any given YouTuber falls into. Again, you cannot paint with broad strokes here. This isn't as black and white clear cut as some people are trying to make it out to be. And that kind of thinking is dangerous when enough people clamor for a response to such an issue before they fully understand it. For that reason, I want you all to stop and to think before you just fly to other videos and run a search for XB1M13 tags and flame those uploaders en masse like a lot of other people are already doing. Not all of those people deserve it. A lot of them don't, to be honest. And it's not right to troll, berate, and abuse those people for simply taking advantage of a promotion that their own shady network provided for them. Machinima pays peanuts to its members, so damn right those people are jumping at an easy bone like this. Hell, a $3 CPM bonus isn't even that much, it's still chump change. So it's really the principle rather than the money that matters in this argument. But that only really speaks to how little these companies respect the very people that they are piggybacking off of as walking, talking billboards for their own products. Make no mistake. Microsoft and Machinima are not alone in this. They're not the first to launch such a promotion, and they won't be the last. Hell, EA was offering a $10 CPM bonus for positive coverage of Battlefield 4 around its release. They were obviously hoping to cloud and obfuscate all the coverage of its rampant bugs and server problems that they didn't want everyone to see. Now, those more concrete content creators like us that purport themselves to be more video journalists they've got a more concrete reputation to maintain. So if they fell into this, fine. Blast them if you must. They made their own beds. They made their own choices. They've taken their integrity into their own hands. Their reputation is their own. But I've got a better idea if you're willing to listen. Here's what I want you to do to those people. You ready? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What do I mean by that? Well, I wish I could say that my reasons are as noble as not wanting to sink to their level and argue this out like children in endless flame wars till Ragnarok take us. But I'm not as good a guy as all that. No, I've got a more practical reason for this request. Remember that disastrous YouTube Google Plus integration that everyone was so up in arms about a few months ago? Well, a lot of folks don't seem to have noticed yet that now, by default, whenever you comment on a YouTube video, that comment is concurrently posted to Google Plus 
along with a link to the video as though you had actually shared that video as you might on Facebook. And as much as we might all hate to think it, a lot more people are actually starting to use Google Plus than popular culture would have you believe. So unless you go out of your way to uncheck that box, even if you leave the most heart-piercing, devastating, soul-crushing comment you can possibly devise on that video, you're still giving that person more exposure. You're giving them even more visibility, even more views. And even if those views come from other people flocking to that video to just bash on them alongside you, remember, those views still count toward that uploader's CPM. You are making them money. So do nothing, and they will receive nothing. Because nothing is exactly what those people deserve. Now it's telling enough that Ron Smith, a Machinima administrator, very quickly deleted his Twitter post announcing to network members that the promotion was active and ready to go. Clearly, Machinima knows that this deal would not go over well, and they tried and failed to hide it. <laughs> You'd really think that a company born of the internet would know better, but derps come in all shapes and sizes these days. So that really wraps what I have to say about XB1M13. Like I said, there are others who have covered this with more industry insight than I can provide with my own experience, but I hope that I've helped to educate at least some of you about what XB1M13 represents, and I dearly hope that at least some of you take what I have said into consideration as you make up your own minds about how to deal with all of this. I don't think we've heard the last of this story, so I may address it again at a later date if something significant comes up. For now, remember, marketing is not an inherently bad thing. It is a critical part of an open, honest market. But it only works for companies and consumers alike if it's conducted on a transparent basis, when we know what is marketing and what is journalism. That is where Machinima and by extension Microsoft went wrong in this regard. And that is what you should be upset about, that is what you should be indignant about, not that they simply tried to curry favor with the market. That's just business being business. Thank you all for your consideration. I am Mr. Black, and I thank you all for joining me here at Last Level Press. Good gaming, and Godspeed everyone.